Last time on Tia Momoga. Tia Momoga was talking about the worst FNAF fan game you've never played. Fun Nights in Aiden. And after he managed to escape this hellhole that is this beach, he found himself in a white void. But then a familiar looking beast to him appears. Welcome to my world. And so, our story continues. Now. I saw you were making a video. Okay, how do you know this? I can see your best and present. I guess that makes sure. Wait, wait, wait. What was the video called again? The worst death fan game you never played. But regardless, I have a project I need your help with. And what if I don't? Those Pokemon! Those kids and those balls! Fine, I'll do it. Good. Here's your first game. Alright, let's see what hell awaits me. You son of a ba- Disclaimer. This video has mentions of pedophilia and necrophilia. Don't Google these things if you're under the age of 18. I'll come back when it's time to talk about the worst part. That being the controversies. And from TM Imoga. To TM Imoga's mom. Sorry if I gave you PTSD. And yes, it's actually true, so with that said, enjoy the video until then. No. This game doesn't deserve a good introduction. Take it away, um, yeah? Dormitibus is a disgusting, vile game made by an alleged pedophile that crashed on me over 10 times across the course of my entire playthrough. Had crucial assets for gameplay fail to load in more times than I can count, had animatronic mechanics just straight up break on multiple occasions, and was genuinely one of the most miserable experiences I've ever had with a FNAF game in my entire life. This video will have zero jokes because I can't fuck around! I like this one. But the dead is not my son. Ooh, she says I am the one. Well, walk up to purgatory. Population, none. So the game starts with... You may not be able to see it, but there's a body in the dumpster. Alpha... Does it still work? <laughs> it still works. So, for some weird reason, every night you start behind the camera. You can run to the other side with the W key, but then you just get... NO oh, FUCK MY EYES! You'll be doing that a lot. And also, the phone guy has the same problem a Nani Death had. He's too quiet. Oh, but don't worry. He won't tell you anything special. He'll just explain the story. BOO! Now I know what you're thinking. How do I deal with the animatronics? You, uh... Read. BOO! Which is extremely lazy. And now it's time for Fetty. Freddy will make a thud sound effect when he gets into the office, and you have to crawl under the desk to avoid his attack. That must be Freddy. Get under the desk! That's, uh, basically it for night one. Also, that part with the purgatory thing, it's true because you're in the purgatory. And also, yes, you have to survive till 7 a.m. for some reason. What the fu- Yeah, there's no Freddy in this night. Why? I don't know. It's a lie. Darn, you got me good. I actually do know. You see, Dormitibus does something way different than every other FNAF fan game. And that is have every night be different. So, as you saw, Freddy isn't in this night, but he wasn't the last one. Can someone guess how many nights there are? Five. Five. Three? <laughs> no. Ten! Let's talk about Chica. So Chica is pretty much the same with Freddy, but with a twist. With Freddy, when he shows up, you have to avert thine eyes. But for Chica, you must do the opposite. And the same with the other side with the damn cupcake. Also, the jump scare is... well... 
Terrible. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Now it's time for the 201 ugly set. For consistency's sake, I'm calling it Cake Bear. Who knocked on my door? I swear if it was one of the dogs. When Cake Bear is active, he'll say a number quietly. Like three times. And you must memorize it and look at the camera that he's in. But I know what some of you are thinking. How's the jump scare? <laughs> it's got awful. Might as well rank these jump scares from what's the best. Chica's better than Cake Bear. Now house ready? <laughs> it's two in your face. Oh fuck. It's the infamous night three. Why? We'll get into that later. Also, I'm just gonna say this. But I just want to talk about Molten Evil real quick. Because he's so damn easy. Molten Evil is this game's version of... Uh... Shadow Bonnie. But I really miss Shadow Freddy. When Molten Evil arrives, you have to look up. Because he'll start creating a visual effect. Take too long and you die. And how about that jump scare? Worst jump scare in the game. Now it's time for Soul Cage. Soul Cage is kind of like Chica in a way. When he appears on the right, the first thing you do, look up. Stare at him. That's it. That's all you do. And how about that jump scare? That was uh, a bit rich, but okay. Here we are, night four. Night four has the least to talk about. It's because of the fact that there's only one animatronic here. That's new. That being Havoc Puppet. Wait, the law says I have to call the onion for Mario Odyssey. When he gets into your office, he'll be right behind you. And you just gotta look at him. Okay, the majority of the animatronics are just staring. And here's your jump scare. <laughs> Would you look at that? It's better than Chica. Let's go! Sign so note. This is the game over screen. That's disgusting. It was at this point when I'm making this video, when I was having a mental breakdown. Can we lightning round this? This video already has enough megabytes as it is. Fine, you can lightning round this. Golden call. You randomly pull up a message and you have to type it. Also, it's case sensitive. You have to enter in the longest word on the sign in Camp 5. Is that Gordon Freddy? Wait, no, my game crashed! Foxy. Looks like we as fuck and you can stall him, but it's not worth it because he will just make a noise when he comes in the room. Come run to the other side to stare at him again! Better than Chica. Better than the onion. The BOA. It's the same thing as the Foxy, but the other side. Okay, the majority of the animatronics are just looking at him. You better hope we not. To oh, damn it, my game crashed! No. Escaping Night 7 to 10 gets nothing to say about them. We have Garvey Night Night 10. What the fuck? For this night, you have to make sure you get to the other side of the room before Garvey does. If you don't do that, you die. Or your game are just completely crash. After that is a cutscene. You gotta spam the space bar. But don't worry, I'm a space bar mashing god. You'll never fuck me! I, you'll never take me alive! I'm a space bar mashing god! Bring it on! Bring it on! Bring it on! We're done now, right? No, we're not. I'm back. If you can handle what I said in the beginning, please click off the video, and if you want to see what's after, use the timestamp in the description. And thank you for watching this long video. But for the rest, buckle up, because it's time for controversies. In this horrible game, you could find tapes. Want to have a listen to one of them? <laughs> My god! This is most certainly beginning to be... fun. There's this hot 15 year old that was part of the kids' friends group. <sighs> you know, it was fun. She screamed, screamed.
but nobody heard her. It was so much fun. She's in one of the suits now. Just a little more time until Fred Bears is going down as well. But hey, I'll find my way. So yeah, Gary just did a thing to a teenager. And oh, hey, look at Cookie. Garvey is a in-game persona of himself. Fuck! Note, I'm not gonna mention any of the victims in this video because I'm a nice guy. Blackout, or as I'm gonna call Nichi, is a pedophile, a necrophile, done lots of grooming, don't look that up, and also transphobic! That bastard! And also he showed his bare ass to a minor. The darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole, so don't keep the devil waiting. Oh my god, I'm finally done. Can I go now? No, we still have some to go. Fuck!